This is uh, episode two of my C Sharp graphics tutorial, and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a progress bar. Or if you're into making games, this would be like a health bar or stamina bar. And um, last time I showed you how to draw rectangles. This time we'll draw and do a fill rectangle, which is a little bit different doesn't just draw the outline border, it actually fills the whole thing. And then, um, and it will fill it according to um, a percentage. Alright, so the uh, first thing we need is a new rectangle. We'll call this Rectangle Progress Bar. And then we go um, equals new rectangle. Um, X and Y, we'll put it at 20. Uh, 20, that's X and Y, and then width. So again, we're gonna go with um, 200, and then the height, 40. Then we need another graphics um, class. So go graphics, and we'll call this GR. And we won't define it there, but we'll define it down here. Or we're going to do a new method. We go public um, void. We'll call this uh, draw bar. And then we're going to go and put um, a brush variable in here for us to use. And we'll call it um, color. Now, uh, first part is to get an outline. So we're going to go with um, defining the GR, the graphics function, the graphics class actually, that I just uh, defined up top right here. And then we're going to go is equal to create graphics. Now, if you watched my previous uh, tutorial, you'll know that this creates graphics for the form. And the form, of course, is this. All right. So first step, we go gr dot um, draw rectangle. We go um, new pen because we don't already have a pen, and we use color as the brush, which is already defined right up here. And I'm actually going to zoom in on this so it's easier to see, so the text is a little bit bigger on the screen. I didn't do that for the last tutorial and I thought it was a little bit hard to see. All right, so now next part of it is to put that um, rectangle in that we did, which was pr called progress bar. And do this, and then we're gonna go ahead and test that out. So this is the, oh no, I didn't implement the method yet. All right, we need to put um, draw bar here first and do a brush, well actually brushes, dot, and we'll do dark green. Now putting the method here of course um, activates this code when you go and click the button. So we go and hit that, and you see up here that it drew it out. A little um, box there. Now we're going to have to make a, another um, method to calculate the percentage that we want to fill this box up and then make uh, use the graphics variable to fill that rectangle up to that current amount. So we're going to make a method that's going to be an int method, which means it returns an int value. When you have void, like right up here, public void draw method, um, the void means there's no return value, it just runs this code, it does not give a value back. It's not actually equal to a value. So we're going to go public int percent. Now, we need a double variable called total. Now this is talking about the total amount available. So for instance, if this was a health bar in a game and there was a hundred hit points total would be the total available hit points being 100. And we have a double current, which means where it's currently at. So if you got a total of 100, 
you're currently at 47, this is where you put that number. And then we use that to calculate the percentage. So that's going to return a value. So we go return. And then we cast it as int. And then um, we have to find the percentage. So then we go, in fact, I'm going to have two percent parentheses here because I'll have two different sets and I want to encase both of them. So we'll go um, total, actually no, current, and divide that by the total. Now, next part, since this is going to return an int value and not double value because this is actually going to give me a decimal, means that when it's converted to int, decimals can't be used in int because it's an integer and um, you're going to if you had say 1.6 it's going to give 1 or if you had 0.74 uh, it's going to give you 0 all right so in order to prevent that we're actually times this by 100 now what that does is you take this value, let's say it's 0.75 times it by 100, you get 75. So the percentage that's going to be returned when you call this method is going to be 75 instead of 0.75 or whatever percentage you give it, except it's going to be an actual number, not a decimal. So we're going to go back down here. Another thing we need to add is um, something to clear the screen before redrawing. Now the reason you do that is so it doesn't draw right on top of the other thing. If it draws right on top, um, you're not going to be able to see uh, the graph. And I will actually go ahead and demonstrate that in just a second. So we'll go gr.fill. Now we need to use a fill rectangle because it's going to fill the whole area, not just outline it. And you go color for the brush. And then um, new rectangle and this rectangle is gonna be calculated based on the bar rectangle so we're gonna go bar oops progress bar dot x progress bar dot y or then the width is what needs we need to convert to a percentage uh, so what we're gonna go and do with that is um, take the bar dot width progress bar actually And we're going to multiply that by the percent. And then the total we want, we'll say it's out of 100. The current, we'll say it's 75, like I was saying. And then we're going to have to, since we multiplied it by 100 up here, we're going to have to go here and um, actually divide it by 100. But we need uh, to divide these separately. And what I mean by that is we're going to have to calculate this first before dividing. So it's going to have to take the progress bar dot width, uh, which is the width of the progress bar, multiply it by this percentage, and then divide it by 100. So that's what that extra parenthesis right here is for. And that, that encases these two. Oops. Don't want to do that. All right. Next part is the height's going to be the same, so we go progress bar dot height, and I think that'll actually include it. No, wait, I need to put another parentheses there to get that uh, final. Of course, we do need to make sure that this operation happens second. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take this parenthesis and actually move it on this side. So this happens last in the order of operations. Let's go ahead and do that. Hit draw. All right, so it draws it to this amount. Now what I meant by we're going to have to um, do something to clear the screen so that it can redraw is that when you have this drawn out and then you draw something that say the line only comes to here, this is still going to be on the screen, so you won't be able to see where the line ended since it's the same color. So I'm going to actually go ahead and put that here. We'll go um, gr dot 
fill rectangle and we'll go color. Now this operation happens first so that um, it draws over the last drawing giving you a blank sheet and then this part then draws that and then this again and then when you draw it again this will clear it out again that way there's no leftover um, drawings. Alright and then we're gonna edit this so that we can change it. Now you see I put here two numerical pickers and they're actually called numerical up downs which kinda makes sense but you know. So we go numerical up down one that value. We're gonna have to cast that as an int because it's usually a decimal if I'm correct. Then we're gonna go int uh, numerical up down two and we go dot value and then we can go and test that out. Now, if we put top value or total value of 100 and the current's at 75. Wait just a second. Oh, I flipped those. All right, so this is actually going to be the 75 one. And this is going to be the 100, if I'm correct. Oh, no, I guess not. Just a second. I'll figure that one out. All right. So I must have added an extra parentheses in here, I think. So I T numerical. All one and two. And then this is one and this is two. Doesn't appear so. Let's try that again. If we have out of 100. And this one's 60, let's say. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, that's very simple. All right, so the problem is, is right here, we use this color. We need to change it to a different color. I should have thought of that. So when we clear the screen, we need to make it say white instead of, um, instead of being green so that we can tell the difference. So we go white. Anyways, it's kind of a simple thing. So you have 100 and then 75, draw it out, there we go. And you sort of tell the color change how this drew a white background and that way you can see the actual green where the lines are. Now we can change that, we can make this um, 85 and it'll increase uh, 91, decrease it. And that's basically the, the progress bar. So um, that's all for episode two. And I will be coming out with more uh, tutorials soon with a little bit more advanced things. All right.